Hi everybody. Um, today's story is called The Baboon Who Went to the Moon. One night when the moon shone full in the sky, Baboon tried to jump there. He jumped so high, but the moon is as high as, an, as high can be. So Baboon went and found the tallest tree. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed and he climbed till he reached the top only to find that the tallest tree wasn't tall enough. There must be a way, he said when a huff. He bent a strong branch into a bow and he fired himself at the moon like an arrow. High in the sky, that giant bow shot him. Slowly but surely, gravity got him. Slowly but surely, that force turned him round, and he hurtled back headlong into the ground. He dug himself out, and he scratched his head. Methinks I need more speed, he said. He crept up quietly on elephant sleeping, put his lips to her ear, and then began shrieking. Poor elephant trumpeted, get lost, baboon, and he hurled him away. Go live, live on the moon. Yahoo, yelled the baboon, you've made my day. Moon, here I come. I'm on my way. <clears throat> this time, baboon soared upwards for longer. And elephant's strong, but gravity is stronger. He splashed to earth in a cool, clear fountain, refreshed. He set off for a sky-high mountain. Up Baboon scuttled. He reached the peak soon. But still he was far, far away from the moon. He made a magnificent, supersized kite. He completed, uh, sorry, complete with a port and a starboard light. The wind swept him up, but alas, went to rest. What happened next? I'm sure you can guess. He decided to fashion a hot air balloon, hoping he'd float right up to the moon. But the fire he made to lift the craft up burnt it to cinders. What rotten luck! Then he begged two vultures snoring nearby. Please measure how far to the moon on high. Baboon, you're crazy, they squawked in dismay. Not even vultures can fly the whole way. So he went to town and played, played a game of cricket. He booked himself a night flight ticket. He brushed his teeth, he combed his hair to look his best on arriving there. As the jet soared up in the dark night sky, the moon looked down like a big yellow eye. He asked the hostess, dressed in maroon, where do you get to the big yellow moon? When do you get do, do, when do we get to the big yellow moon? The big yellow moon? Goodness gracious baboon. This flight only goes to Potch of Stroom.
Dejected and sad and out of pocket, he went back home and built his own rocket. An amazing machine. A massive missile. I'll get there now, he said with a smile. As he did, you know, one star-swept night, as the moon shone full, round and bright, he played in the moon dust for all he was worth. He jumped far higher than he could on earth. He met a whole tribe of green moon baboons who had seven legs and fingers like spoons. He built himself a little moon shack and made up his mind he'd never come back. Baboon was as happy as happy can be till one fine night he happened to see a twinkle of red amidst the stars. I wonder, he said, what's life like on Mars? I think I know where Baboon went next to you.